Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to show you some amazing quality of life improvement settings that everybody should change on their Google Pixel 9 that will make using their phone on a daily basis much better. And the very first thing we're going to do is change a setting that will allow us to bypass the lock screen when we're unlocking our phone with our face. So to show you how it looks like right now, I'm gonna unlock my phone with my face. You can see we have that unlocked icon, but it still kept us on the lock screen to actually get into our phone. We now have to swipe up, but I'm gonna show you how to access your home screen a lot quicker without actually having to do that swipe. So to set that up, what you're gonna wanna do is go into your phone settings and then scroll down to security and privacy, go to device unlock, fingerprint and face unlock, enter your phone's pin. And then in here, go to face unlock. And in here, you'll see an option that says skip lock screen. So now when we enable this feature, it will allow us to go directly into our phone without having to swipe up. So I'm just gonna let my phone lock and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm gonna use my face to unlock my phone and you're gonna see it's going to skip the lock screen and go directly into my phone. There you go. We no longer need to swipe up to access our phone. And that just makes using our phone a little bit quicker. The next setting we're going to change is going to help our phone stay unlocked as long as we are looking at it. So by default, the way your phone works is if you're not touching it, you can see that the screen dimmed a little bit and in a few seconds is going to lock. And you can see it locked and went to my always on display. And the problem with that is maybe you're looking at a picture or you're reading an ebook or a long article. You don't want your phone to keep dimming on you and having to keep tapping on it to keep it awake. So we're going to enable a really cool feature that will help you fix that problem and what we're going to do is go into our phone settings go to display and then in here where it says screen timeout down here we're going to make sure to enable the setting that says screen attention and you can see it says prevents your screen from turning off if you're looking at it so if your phone sees that you're looking at the phone maybe you're reading an article or looking at a photo it will use that selfie camera to see that your eyes are actually looking at the screen and that will prevent it from dimming and locking allowing you to continue to do whatever you're doing uninterrupted. The next setting we're going to change is to add shortcuts to our lock screen. By default, the phone just comes with this one Google Home uh, shortcut. You can actually have two on either side. And maybe you don't actually have any Google Home devices. You can actually swap this to something else that's a little bit more useful for you. So to do that, what we're going to do is go back into our display settings, go to lock screen, and then in here, look for the setting that says shortcuts right there. And you can see we have a left shortcut and a right shortcut. Now the left one is set to Google Home, but again, I personally don't have any Google Home devices, so this is pretty useless to me. So you can go through here and change this to something else. I'm gonna select flashlight because I use that pretty often. And then we're gonna go into our right shortcut and a useful one you can set here is your wallet. So if you want to make NFC payments directly from your lock screen, that's really useful. Or maybe you just want to put your phone into mute because you're going into work or class and you don't want your phone making any noises. And now when you go to your phone's lock screen, you can see we have our flashlight right there and our mute button right there. So if we wanna turn on our flash at night, all we gotta do is tap and hold. You can see our flash enables. And if we want to mute our phone, we can just tap and hold it. And now it's not going to make any noises when we get phone calls or any notifications. Another setting that I absolutely love and always enable on my Google phones is the ability to identify the music around you so that your phone can store those songs and you can come back and see what they were and add them to your playlist. Now this feature is called Now Playing and to enable it, we're gonna go into our phone settings. We're gonna go back to display lock screen and right there you'll see the option that says now playing and you can see it says show the name and artist of songs playing nearby on your lock screen so if you're in your car and there's a radio playing or you're walking in a mall and there's a nice tune if your phone recognizes that song it will actually display the name and artist of that song on your lock screen and what's really cool is it will actually keep a history of all of the songs that is recognized on your phone so you can always come back here tap into here and it will show you all of these songs that your phone has heard while you were driving or out and about and store them in here so you can always come back find out what that song was and add it to your playlist. Definitely a really cool feature. Now for this next setting, what we're gonna do is go into our dialer app right there, tap on the three dots over here, go to settings, sound and vibration, and scroll down until you see clear calling right there. And we're gonna make sure to enable clear calling. And what this is going to do is just listen for any background noise going on around you while you're on a phone call and lower those noises so that it's easier for the person you're talking to to hear what you're saying. So maybe you're walking around and there's construction going around you or you're at home and you have a baby crying. Your phone will identify those sounds and bring those levels down and focus only on your voice. And that's going to make the conversations that you're having much clearer. Next, what we're gonna do is again, go back to our phone settings. And this time we're gonna go to caller ID and spam. 
and we're gonna make sure to enable filter spam calls because there's nothing more annoying than getting those robots calling you all the time telling you that you're in trouble with the CRA or IRS. If you get a call from a known suspected spam caller, your phone is just gonna filter that out, completely not bother you with it. And that should definitely make your life a little bit better because you're not constantly having to answer or reject calls from all of these spam calls. So you know how sometimes when you're using your phone and you're just swiping around and sometimes you accidentally swipe away a notification and now you don't know what that notification was or who might have tried to reach out to you. Well, there's actually a way to be able to access your notification notification history. And to do that, we're going to go into our phone settings, go to notifications right there. And in here, tap notification history. And you can see mine is already enabled. But if you did not have yours enabled, I'm going to actually turn this off. It's going to wipe everything out. You're just going to see that this is not turned on. And when you turn it on, now all of your notifications that you get in the future will get stored here in history. So again, if you ever swipe away a notification and you didn't see what it was, you can come back here into the notification history settings and all of your prior notifications will be right here. So you can go ahead and check which notifications you might have missed. All right, this next setting is really useful. I really like this one. What we're gonna do is go into our phone settings. We're gonna go to sound and vibration right there. Scroll down to vibration and haptics. And we're gonna enable this feature that says vibrate first, then ring gradually. And I really like this feature because if you left your phone on loud and maybe you forgot and now you're in a quiet environment or in school or you're reading a book, instead of your phone just being super loud the moment someone calls you, it will actually vibrate first and then just gradually get louder. But on the other hand, if you're maybe walking outside and it's kind of loud outside and you don't feel that vibration, it will gradually ring louder and louder until hopefully you hear it. So definitely the best of both worlds so you don't get frightened in quiet areas, but you still hear it when you're out in the about in loud environments. Now this next quality of life improvement setting is also really useful because let's say somebody sends you an email or a text message asking you to do something, but you can't get to it right now. So you swipe the notification away, but then you completely forget about it and you forget to do whatever you were supposed to do. Well, there's a setting that you can enable to actually snooze those notifications so that you can be reminded about them later. And to show you what I mean, you can see I sent myself an email right here and there's this little snooze button right here. If I tap on it, you can see it says snoozed for one hour, but I can also click this down arrow and snooze it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes or two hours. So let's say maybe I'm going to be home in 30 minutes. I can snooze this for 30 minutes and then it will go away from my notifications, but it will again remind me in 30 minutes, hopefully when I'm home and I can remember to reply to that person or do whatever I need to do. But again, this is not enabled by default. So you do need to enable this. And to do that, what you got to do is go into your phone settings, go to notification and down here towards the bottom, enable the section that says allow notification snoozing. Again, this is disabled by default but you wanna go ahead and enable it so that now you can snooze those notifications and get back to them when you have time. The next setting we're gonna change is going to allow us to mute our phone by simply flipping it over. So if we get a phone call and we don't have time to get to it and we don't wanna pick up our phone or even interact with it at all to silence it, all we gotta do is flip our phone over and it will snooze whatever phone call is coming in. Now to enable this, what we're gonna do is go into our phone settings. We're gonna go down to system, go to gestures, and right there you can see it says flip to shh. So this is set to off, we're gonna enable it. And just like I said, all you have to do now is just flip your phone over and it will mute whatever phone call is coming in. So if you're busy, you can just flip your phone over and get back to doing whatever you were doing. The next setting is for people who use a pin to unlock their phone. It's just going to allow you to get into your phone a little bit quicker. So you can see if you swipe up, it's going to ask you for your pin. Now my pin is six zeros just for the sake of these videos. But you can see when I type them in, I now also have to hit enter to actually get into our phone. But you can change it so that your phone will automatically unlock when you put in the correct pin. Now to do that, what you want to go to is your phone settings, go to security and privacy, go to device on the lock, hit, the, hit this cogwheel next to screen lock and enable this feature that says auto confirm on lock and then just enter your pin. And now if I try to unlock it using my pin, you can see when I start typing it in, as soon as I get the correct pin in, it will automatically unlock my phone without me having to hit 
enter. Now keep in mind that this will only work for pins that are six digits or more. You can see it says right there. So if you have a four or five digit pin, you won't need this. You won't even see this setting. But if you do have a longer pin, this is definitely a nice useful feature. Now while we're in here, the next thing I'm going to have you look at is this section that says lock after screen timeout. So when your screen times out and locks, you can actually keep your phone unlocked for a few more seconds in case you want to get back into it and start using it. So you can have it locked immediately or select any of these time intervals. I suggest you set it to maybe five seconds or 15 seconds so that after your phone goes to sleep and locks, you can quickly get into it again without having to enter your pin or face ID or your fingerprint. And then of course you have this last setting here that says power button locks instantly. So if you want your phone to immediately lock as soon as you hit the power button, you can go ahead and enable this. Or if you want your phone to stay unlocked for a few more seconds after you lock it, you can disable this. So to show you what this looks like, if I have this disabled and I lock my phone and then I want to get back into it, if I hit that lock button again, you can see my phone is unlocked. But if I enable this and then I hit that lock button, now what's going to happen is my phone is locked and I actually have to authenticate to get back into it. So go ahead and set up these settings the way you like them. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video of the quality of life improvement settings for your Pixel 9 phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.